Right, so we're going to test somebody's hearing and we, uh, we do that using what's called pure tone audiometry. Um, and there's a particular method that we use to find the person's threshold. And the threshold is the, the softest sound that the person is able to detect. Uh, we use a particular method called the Hewson Westlake uh, technique, um, which is essentially is um, when the person responds twice at the sound when you're ascending. Um, so usually what we might do is if the person has got normal hearing, um, and you probably know that through the history, um, we'd start normally at 30 decibels. If they've got a suspected hearing loss, you might start at say 70 decibels. Uh, and the technique involves basically starting at, at um, say, so, say that the person's threshold is actually at, at five, you might start at 30, uh, and then you, you go down by 10. So you go 30, 20, 10, and then you go to five. So they've heard all of those apart from the one at, at zero rather. And then you're going up by fives. So you'll, they'll hear it at 30, 20, 10, zero, and then you go up by five. So the, then you go up from zero to five, and they'll probably hear that. You go down by another 10, and then you keep going up again. So when they've responded twice um, at the softest level um, on, the, uh, on the ascent, then that's, that's actually the person's threshold. Okay, so we've got our patient here. So this is Bailey, and um, we're going to do a hearing test today, Bailey. So firstly, just explain what we're going to do. Um, this is the, the presentation button here, so a little button that you can push. So what I want you to do is to push the button as soon as you hear a sound, even for the very soft ones. Okay. There you go. And we've got our headphones. We've got them colour-coded. So the right side is red and the left side has got the blue cord on it. So try not to get those mixed up. Uh, so when we're putting the headphones on the patients, I normally like to have the, the headbands up as, as, as large as they can go. Put them right on the top of the head, on the ears, and then we just pull the headband down so it's nice and comfortable and it's not going to move around. Is that all right? Yeah. Good. And then, of course, we're going to get the patients to not face the screen. Uh, normally, we wouldn't be talking throughout this period, obviously, but um, today I'm just going to talk through the actual technique of finding the threshold. Okay. So here's our audiometer screen. This is obviously our audiometer machine. Uh, and, and this is a computer um, generated um, uh, audiometer, so, um, or software generated audiometer. So we've got pitch going from low all the way up to high. So we've got 250 hertz all the way up to eight kilohertz. And we've got volume or decibel levels going down. Okay, so it sounds a bit counterintuitive, but as the further the, you, you go down, that's the louder we're having to, having to actually make the sound for the patient to hear. So in this case, we know Bailey's actually got normal hearing or hasn't had any, hasn't reported any hearing issues. And so we're going to start at 30 decibels and we're starting with his left ear. So I'm going to present. The important thing when we're actually testing hearing is not to be too rhythmic in the way that you're presenting, but to vary the intervals between. Okay. So I'm going to present, and normally we don't hold it, hold the button down for too long. I'm using the space bar to present the sound. So here we go. So he's responded there at 30, so I'm going to go down by 10. Again, he's heard it. He's heard it at 10, and now I'm going to go down to zero. So he's heard that at zero. So we can go down to minus 10. So no response, so I'm going to go up by five. Still no response, go up by five again. And he's heard it there. So that's one on the ascent that he's heard it. I'm going to go down by 10 dB again. No response. So he's heard it there, minus five. Go down to minus 10. So there we go, he's heard it twice at zero on the ascent. So we'd normally just mark that. Uh, when we're doing the left ear, it's a cross. When we're doing the right ear, it's a circle. So if I store that, you can actually see that's now a cross on the screen there at zero. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the right side now and I want you to perhaps fill in the audiogram yourself as to where you think it should be. So I'm gonna start at 30 dB again. Okay. 